All right, Megan's hooked up again. Oh, nice. Over here showing the boys how it's done. This might be big fish of the day. As many as everyone else, I just caught the biggest. God, now we're never gonna hear the end of it. <laughs> Not long ago, I decided to ditch the corporate grind to pursue my passions for traveling and the great outdoors. So I sold everything, moved into a trailer full time, and now I'm fishing my way across the entire country. There you go, fish out. Look at that. You're watching Field Trips with Robert Field. That was insane. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Field Trips. So. I finally made it to Virginia, left North Carolina. I am staying at Anvil Campground in Williamsburg, Virginia, right in between Jamestown and Yorktown, a couple of the very first colonies of our nation. Really historic place, really cool place to stay. Anvil Campground here is absolutely gorgeous. It's actually the oldest RV park in the state of Virginia. Killer location, it's nice and quiet. They've got a pool, they've got horseshoes, they've got basketball, several playgrounds, a store that's got pretty much anything that you could need. Absolutely love this place so far. Today I'm heading east to Virginia Beach and Norfolk area. We're gonna be going out fishing at Rudy's Inlet for a fish I've never caught before, bluefish. About to drive there right now. I'm staying with Megan and Jay tonight. We're gonna go out on the town a little bit, have a few drinks, should be a good time. Then wake up early tomorrow and go hit the water. It's about an hour drive, it's time to get to it. So today, I find myself in Virginia Beach with some good buddies of mine, Jay Brooks, his fiance, Megan Lorraine, Billy Rogolski, Billy Rags, they call him. We're out here today, we're gonna be going for bluefish. Conditions have not lined up perfectly. They're telling me it may be tough today, but we're gonna go out anyways, give it a shot. Speaking of tough today, we went out last night with Rob Choi and uh, maybe had one too many drinks. I am feeling rough today. Rob Choi actually no-showed on us. <laughs> Can't believe it. I've been waiting to meet that guy for like three years. Had a great time last night and now he's not here to fish with us, but that's all right. We're all rallying. Got our second win. We're ready to go do this. It's gonna be windy today. Ridiculous I faces. Too, you know? Did you really? Yeah. Bad call. I'm sorry. You shouldn't I have done that. This you shouldn't have done that. Why'd you do that? So Billy and Jay here are working on catching bait. What are you guys mostly getting, croakers? Spot. Well, Billy's what mostly What is a spot? What is uh, that? It's a Norfolk spot, actually. So we're using Norfolk spots for bait. Is that, you're being serious? Spot. No, I'm dead serious. <laughs> like, I'm not kidding. Like Wikipedia or anything like that, you'll see Norfolk, Norfolk spot. spot. I've never heard of this. I'm still not entirely confident you're not making it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're definitely winning. Megan here is already drinking wine. I just ate breakfast. Still burping up the alcohol from last night. <laughs> Sunday fun day. Yeah, you can't drink all day unless you start in the morning. That's true. Pro tip from, from Megan Lorraine here. Best way to deal with the hangover is to keep drinking in the morning. Write that down, kids. <laughs> all right, so for our live bait rig, it's basically a kingfish rig, a stinger rig, single strand wire. Uh, just a little bit shorter. We're not using as long a base as I'm typically using for kingfish. And so this is the spot. This is what we're using for bait. Spot looks kind of like a croaker, similar. I'm gonna go with one hook through the nose and then one down its side. I like swapping the hooks. What do you mean? I like having that, the hook you're hooking in the back on the nose. Oh yeah, what am I doing, bro? That's not, yes, correct. <laughs> Struggling today. <laughs> Struggle bus. So now I want to pitch this guy around the docks. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is go pull up alongside the dock And the goal is we want that bait to be swimming under the dock. Up under there, okay? Um, I saw the blue. Oh, he's right there. He's got half the bait in his mouth. No, he's on <laughs> It's a small one <laughs> <laughs> that was wild, dude. I felt him getting nervous and I looked down and I'm like, that's not my bait. <laughs> so that, oh, 
Hey, hey, chill, bro. Chill, 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 chill. Dude, he is upset. He is not happy. It looks like something got his tail, bro. Yeah, other blue fish. So that is my first blue fish right there. And look at its tail in the chaos while it was running around chasing my bait. It looks like something bit him in the tail. It's bleeding pretty, pretty bad. It's a fresh wound for sure. Um, they theorized that that was probably another bluefish following this guy, kind of trying to get in on the action. Now this is a pretty small one. They get much, much bigger. They have got some gnarly, gnarly teeth. It's hard to see them with their lips. I don't really want to get bit, but... Nah, are these guys good to eat? No? I don't like them. They're Oily, good, good smoked. Yeah, kind of like a mackerel. Go ahead and let this guy go. That was fun. Like watching the whole thing go down you know what i mean all right well that did not take long at all you did not have very high hopes high expectations for today conditions are, are pretty terrible they tell me but uh we've been out here less than an hour and there's one uh, definitely not much size to it but that is a new species for me let's see if we can't get a big one look who decided to join us rob Choi, the man the myth the legend you're late bro just a, just a smidge late I caught my first bluefish a minute ago. You did? Yeah. Good. Not a not a monster, but uh I lost a monster. Yeah. She lost a good one. Yeah. That last shot. Yeah, Probably unnecessary. When I was puking at the middle school, it felt like a little excessive. The, that last <laughs> shot felt like <laughs> Billy here just hooked up right next to me on the other side of the same dock. Got himself a nice blue. Nice blue fish, dude. There we go. So that's closer to the class fish that we're hoping for, we're out here looking for. A beauty, dude. I wish I could get a shot of the teeth. It's so hard with the, you know, like with their lips. Like Billy here showing me how it's done. Much bigger fish. And off she goes. Nice work, dude. So Rob says better strategy is to, Billy said the same thing, just kind of mosey on down these these docks, kind of keep the bait moving, cover kind of the whole length of the dock. Oh, bro, something's definitely. Yeah, oh, no! That was a much better one, dude. Well, just got my second bite. Came over here to this dock. Billy told me it was a good one. Kind of coaching me, telling me to keep moving back. And then sure enough, I moved about halfway down. Got a good run. Uh, just pulled it too early. But you can tell the kind of damage these fish's mouths do. Bit it clean in half. Get another bait on. Good sign though, dude. This is all twisted up. Hold on. There we go. On. Fish on, fish on. Felt my bait getting real nervous and I felt it pull. Let it eat for about two seconds. Set the hook and I'm on. Got a little summer shower rolling in over us. But the fish don't seem to mind. It's another little guy. Not that big. He's pulling pretty hard though. All right, bro. Woo. All right. Oh God, oh God. On the loose. On the loose. There's a lot of sharp teeth thrashing around my boat. Another little small guy, but uh, tons of fun. I mean, it's just, it's such like a, a fun reaction kind of fishing. I mean, you can feel your bait start getting nervous. All of a sudden you'll feel a little tug and then it'll start running with it. Set the hook. It's all really kind of close combat fishing. The whole fight happens right next to the boat. These fish typically, they hunt for fish in little packs, really small schools, super aggressive. They get in kind of feeding frenzies. I've heard they also can be cannibalistic eat their own young. Really, really bizarre fish, but just super strong for their size. All right, set this guy on his way. Just got fun with these big boys. Billy put one bait in for like five minutes and stuck a 30. Got a little rain. It's been raining every day since I got here to Virginia. I thought today might be an exception. Turns out it is not. Megan's hooked up again, still got it on. Looks like a decent one. 
Nice. Woo! It's pulling. There you go. Using the uh, wilderness systems, the radar, to reverse out of there, get it away from the dock. Looks like a solid fish. Woo! Oh, nice! Dude, that's a fish. <laughs> Just take your time, it'll wear out. That's a good one. Over here showing the boys how it's done. This might be big fish of the day. Yes. Look at that. The rain just let up for a second and right on cue. Woo! Megan hooked a stud. Megan here. As many as everyone else, I just caught the biggest. God, now we're never gonna hear the end of it. <laughs> Megan with a stud, showing the boys how it's done. Well executed, look at that. Oh yeah, now it's a photo shoot. Now it's a photo shoot. The hat looks good. Beauty. <laughs> nice. Purple on it though. Beautiful colors. All right, Megan's gonna let this fish go. Yep, that's fine. She's reviving him now, make sure it swims off strong. Great fish, 33 inches. One of the bigger ones of the day. The bigger they are, the longer they take to revive. Yep. Uh, all right, I gotta put my camera away. Tons of bait. Billy's on again, showing us how it's done over here. Nice, dude. Got you bent over. Sketchy landing, these guys. Got six hooks hanging out of their mouth. Razor sharp teeth like a piranha. Are you on? Oh, yeah. Oh, Megan's on. Doubled up. That looks like a good one, dude. Oh, get it over. Look at this. Oh, oh I pulled it. All right, bro. If you lead her three times, you're just playing with it. <laughs> Sketchy. Careful, bro. Careful, careful. Jay's on. Jay's on now across the canal. They're essentially tripling up right now. Everyone's looking up but Rob here. Nice. Jay Brooks got himself a good one. Damn, Megan's on again. Non-stop action. So speaking of uh, these fish being cannibals, another blue fish took a chunk out of this thing's face. Rob Choi here is hooked up again. Woo, going on a sleigh ride. Nice. Did you go 36? Yeah, right at it. 36 inches. That is a citation bluefish right there. Stud, dude. Rob Choi here, he is, he is the man here in Virginia Beach. Been wanting to fish with him for a long time. We had kind of a rough night, but uh, he's making up for it now. Showed up late and he's out fishing, uh, I'd say, everyone. <laughs> So Rob's got four or five, Billy's got two nice ones, Megan's landed two, lost a couple. I've caught two, I mean, we're just wearing them out. We were worried that today was gonna be really tough. Uh, the wind has been annoying, there's been some rain, but the fish are cooperating. I just need to get one of these big boys like they're all pulling out. Still eluding me. All right, Rob Choi here, hooked up again. Just heard an explosion, looked over, and his rod was doubled over. What is it? Striper. Striper? 30 inches, nice, dude. You could tell it's a different fight, because you're like, you were getting towed, you know, like, Ooh, yeah. yeah. You were getting pulled pretty fast. There wasn't no tail walking and stuff like that. He was wanting to go. Right. Well, Virginia sleigh ride, I like it. Solid Striper. Not giant, but still. I've only ever caught the freshwater ones, and that's probably about as big as my biggest ever. I would not mind catching one of those bad boys. And there he goes. Oh, dude. Yeah, it's on. Oh, dude. Dude. <laughs> Monster, dude. He almost ripped the rod out of my hand, bro. The second I got there, dude. Oh, my God. That's a good one. It's a good one. <laughs> yeah! I was starting to give up hope that I wasn't going to get one of these bigger ones. I mean, I don't have it in yet. God, they're, they're such like scrappy fish. They just dart around. Dude, look at this. Oh, and it spit it, dude. Did you see that fish? Oh my God. I saw the head. That was a giant. No! That was a behemoth. I feel like that one was pushing 40. Yeah. It was long. Oh my, I cannot believe it. Just, it came up so slow and just like chink chink. 
and threw it right back in my face. I was just about to say that I'd given up hope on catching one of these big ones like these guys are getting, and then there was my chance. Dude, the second I got there and it pulled my rod like this, I was like, no! God! Megan just hooked over here right next to me, already got it in the boat. Striper. Second striper of the day, first one for Megan. Dude, that's a good one. Oh, no! Oh! Fine, stuck in her leg. Yeah, it hooked me. Oh, yeah, she's bleeding. I'm fine. You alright? Yeah. Gnarly. That could have been worse. Oh, it's fine. Well, hey, you landed it. It counts. I know, right? Go look out. No, I'm not bleeding that blood. Bleeding that blood? Yeah. Megan's hard court. I tried to get it out. I was looking in the camera. I couldn't see it. I tried to get it out before you. No, I mean, you hooked that fish and it was in your boat in like eight seconds. No fish is worth that when it's hanging off of you like that. No. It got me. Yeah. Damn. Well, at least it popped right back out if it's stuck in you while that thing was thrashing. Oh, yeah. Straighten the hook out on your own leg. Not ideal. Fish, fish. So Megan just lost that striper right in her lap. After it hooked her, I came over here to the same spot. Still. Oh, whoo, oh, whoo. It's not, it's not that big, but they're strong. I still haven't gotten a really good look at it. I think it's a blue. Oh, dude, it's not that big. Maybe it is a striper because it's pulling hard. For how small it is, it's fighting harder than those blues did because I mean, it's not much bigger than the blues I caught. Well, when you all grab my camera once I land it? Oh, it's a blue, it's a blue. God, why is it so strong? Dude, are you, are you, are you for real? <laughs> yeah, he's decent. He's definitely my best of the day. So, my personal best bluefish. I, I, I can't believe he's still fighting, dude. There's strong fish. Yeah, he's a lot bigger than I thought. No. <laughs> Get him in the boat! I'm gonna lose him sitting here messing around with him. Come on, bro. Oh. Oh. Felt teeth on my foot. Not a good feeling. All right, well, there's my personal best bluefish. Biggest one of the day, biggest one of my life. Super fun species. The action's been nonstop. We actually almost called it today. Conditions were looking terrible. We almost decided not to come, but good thing we did. It's been an incredibly fun day. Everyone caught multiple fish. Striper, bluefish. Uh, this is definitely not the biggest one of the day, but solid fish and just tons of fun. Well, we gotta go. They got a birthday dinner to get to, so let this guy on his way. Start making our way in. Virginia Beach, man, this place is a blast. And there she goes. Nice. This place is rad, dude. Yeah, dude. Great day. You can tell there's a strong kayak fishing community around here. We saw like dozens of kayak anglers out there today. And uh, we got a Hobie demo day setting up now. Killer area for kayak fishing, and you can tell the, the locals take advantage. One too many shots last night. For sure. Huh? 